Greetings YouTube, this is Yvette. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today is day number three of my dry fast, so this evening will be a full three days. And I'm cruising along. So remember before, when I first started this, I barely made it two and a half days. And by day number three, I was, I mean I had to hydrate. Remember before day number three. This time I'm cruising right along because every single time I get hungry or thirsty, I simply pray and ask God to replace my hunger and my thirst for food for me to be hungry and thirsty for him. And I'm telling you, he does this. God wants us to have our bodies in submission to him. He wants us to weaken ourselves and focus on him. And there's something else that goes on with fasting. Fasting is healing. It heals the body. The strides that I've made with my fibroids have been because I was fasting. They shrink when you fast. So I have, have, I have books on uh, shrinking fibro fibroids. I have all kinds of herbs that are supposed to do that. Nothing's been doing it. But when I fast, I notice that they shrink considerably. So my problem is I don't fast long enough. You need to fast long enough for your cure. I'm really loving this dry fast because dry fast is like the speedy version of getting um, your body healed. So for those people who think you need chemotherapy, fast, you just starve out cancer because I will tell you, your body is going to kill it off and kick cancer out. It's going to kill off diabetes. A diabetic, it depends on which one you have. You still need to probably be eating something. So if I were you, I would do raw, uh, you know, vegetables and concentrate on plant-based, but on a fast, do strictly vegetables and, and fruit if you can handle the fruit. And you're going to need to see your doctor because your numbers are going to go down substantially. And if you're still taking that medication, you're going to mess things up. But if eating healthy causes you not to have medication, that was God's design in the first place for us to have clean food. And really, invest in your food, okay? Don't eat this genetically modified stuff. And there's some things that typically are always modified. Some of us like to buy those little cuties, those little oranges. Uh, they're they're kind of like tangerines, and they're really tiny, and they're so cute. Those are a genetically modified uh, fruit, and so you don't want to be consuming that. Make sure, you know, there's things like wheat, corn, soy, um, that causes problems right off the bat that I can think of. But there's more of them that are usually genetically modified that you should not do. I stay away from dairy, especially if you diabetic. Stay away from dairy. Stay away from white rice and sugar and things that turn to sugar like breads, uh, white rice, white whatever. Stay away from that because it's just going to be sugar for your body and it feeds cancer. So stop feeding cancer and it will go away. Okay. So I'm going to sign off because you know how I don't like these long videos. But anyway, today's focus, every day that we're fasting with my church, there's a focus that we have. So today we were supposed to pray for those who were persecuted. So I want you guys to do this too. We need to ask God to deliver them. As a matter of fact, let's do it now. God, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, please help those people who are being persecuted for righteousness sake. Those people who are, been, who are taking a stand for the Bible and they're being persecuted taken under the law, sued because they refuse to go against what your word says, ostracized because they stand up for what your word says. I'm praying, God, that you would be there for them and that you would reward them. Reward them openly for what they are doing. Take the pain away, God, and help to remind them to give you their burdens. And then those people who are in places where they're being persecuted in countries and tortured because they are choosing to be believers. Uh, I'm going to ask that you give them deliverance and God, the pain and the torture that they are enduring and the heinous crimes that are done against them just in your name for believing in you. God, I'm asking that you would take the pain away. God, that they have, if they have to suffer, if it's death, God, I pray that, you know, you take them peacefully home with you. Uh, for those who are being beaten and abused, Lord, I'm asking that you have an angel stand in their place and take that abuse for them so they, they don't even feel the pain. God, numb the senses uh, for pain for them. Numb, numb the pain center. And I pray that if there's any infection or disease that comes about from their torture or from their beatings or anything that's going on with them, Lord, that you would take that away. God, that you would give them peace inside. God, that you would give them joy. 
and help believers everywhere just to know that we need to be mindful that we are in a battle that when we stand up for you we're in the war we need to get in the in the fight you're doing the fighting for us we just need to go there and stand take a stand and represent you and let the world know that it's my god that delivers me it is my god who is there for me so um it, I, I'm, I'm praying for everyone everywhere, God, and, and encourage us to fast. Help us to know, Lord, and teach us that fasting not only cures the body, it cures the mind, it heals the mind. We're talking about dementia and all those diseases, Alzheimer's that come against us. Lord, if we would just learn to eat right and to fast, to clean our bodies out, give our bodies a chance to get rid of the toxins. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, I'm going to sign off you guys and I'll check in with you again because, of course, we have another focus that we're doing. Um, and I will talk to you later. And let me know if you're going to jump in and fast. Let us know that you're fasting too. And I appreciate all the compliments and all the people who have joined in. <laughs> Bye-bye.